The night that I came to church, the night that I first came to The Rock, I had smoked nine blunts at a barber shop. They said, there, here comes the bus, Karen. And I said, oh, I called that bus. So I ran in the house and I got my Bible and I went and got on the bus. By the time I got to church and sit down on the second row, they start talking about Jesus and I start feeling his presence. I actually heard him speak to me for the first time. He said, Karen, it is time. And I never knew, I never knew that God could speak to you. My face was streaming with tears. Pastor Jim was up doing his altar call. And I got up and I gave my life to Christ that night. I put the drugs down and I never looked back. I had no place to go and I was talking to Pastor Deborah. They sent someone over, they moved me out of where I was at and they moved me into the church house. And that's when I started working with Miss Christine. When I went to her, I was all broken. I used to cry all the time. and. She would tell me to stop crying and let's figure this out. She helped me do resumes. She helped me to get the self-esteem that I need to go back out in this world and find a job and go to work. And since Miss Christine, I've got a truck driving license. I'm in Bible college. In the meantime, he attacked my children so bad that my youngest daughter, she was running the streets, she was, cheating people, robbing people. She was doing everything that you can imagine to get her hands on her drug. I had been looking for her for two days. And when I found her, she was sleeping on the church step, drugged out. So once I see my daughter sleeping on that step, I took her, I start praying with her. I start holding my child. I start loving on her, letting her feel the love of God through me. I said, Tiffany, we got to do something. I can't raise your children. You have seven children. We cannot raise your children. You have to be the mother to these children. And one day she just said, Mom, I don't want it no more. So she never smoked again from that day to this. Jesus saved us. He saved my family. He restored my grandchildren back to their mother, which no one believed that that was ever going to happen. Being at the Rock Church taught me how to engage in my family, show my family love, bring us back together the way God had created us to be, not the separation that Satan had in us. Always, always keep your children in front of God. You pray for them. You don't give up on them. You know greater is he that is in in them is he that is in the world. Jesus Christ loves us. He loves our children. And now what I do is I talk to other people's children that are strung out on drugs about Jesus, that they may give their life to Christ and that they don't have to live that kind of life anymore.